Welcome back, everybody. Coronavirus closures, the wildfire threats, the heat have all made 2020 an exceptionally tough year for the Lions, Tigers and Bears Sanctuary in Alpine. This is a beloved place that a lot of you may know. Founder and owner of Lions, Tigers and Bears, Bobby Brink, joining us this morning. So we can talk about how people can help you out and look at this amazing animal right here, Bakari. Good morning to you, Bakari and Bobby. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, so first of all, let's talk about Bakari since we get to stare at him longingly right now. Uh, tell us all about this beautiful lion. So Bakari came from uh, Louisiana, and I don't know if you can see in the back, his girls are back there, Surrey and Jillian, and they've been here since they were 10, 11, and 12 pounds. Uh, so this was, they came from a failing sanctuary that was, you know, in all kinds of trouble with their state, because we work with the first responders across the country to, of course, you know, rescue animals and provide a lifetime home. And, you know, a lot of our first responders aren't trained how to get a lion or a tiger out of an apartment or bedroom. And so we help them get animals out of places they shouldn't be. We're their voice and um, we're an education center. So you can normally when it's not COVID, you can come out and visit. Okay. And I mean, to think that those lions were 10, 11 pounds, you've obviously fed them well. <laughs> Obviously fed them well, and now they weigh, he weighs about 600 pounds, and they weigh about 490. Ooh, wow. Um, so, Bobby, we know it's been a rough year uh, in many ways for you guys at the sanctuary. What have you been dealing with? How hard has this year been for you? Well, it's been really hard because we've had to close, you know, to our educational visits, which helps us to raise a lot of the funds to support these animals. And so um, we're now back open. You can, you know, jump online, lionstigersandbears.org and book a visit if you wanted to come out. And we're um, doing the social distancing. We're outside, so it's safe. And of course you have to wear a mask and we're doing groups of 30 or less. And um, it's a two hour, about a two hour educational visit where the keepers take you around, introduce you to all these beautiful guys. <sighs> and um, sometimes if you want, you can feed. And we also um, have behind the scenes if you just, you know, want to come with your group or your family. Okay, I'm getting the chills <laughs> looking at Bakari. He looks yeah. straight at your camera. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And, you know, Bobby, I think, you know, a big part of obviously what you do is taking such good care of these animals, but that's not cheap. Obviously, they no. need to eat. <laughs> um, tell us about right. that. I mean, how expensive is it to care for these animals? You have a big fundraiser coming up that we want to make sure our viewers know about. Exactly. So uh, we have 60 rescued animals, 17 different species, and to feed one bear or one lion, it's about fifteen to seventeen thousand dollars a year, and that's just food. So um, we do everything we can that's legal to fundraise for animals, and we're just getting ready to launch our, or it is launched actually, our fall fundraiser. And you can just get online, and there's so many things that you can bid on to buy. You could there's trips to Africa, there's local hotels, and even like the Ritz Carlton and Viejas. You could come stay at Viejas, and then come right up to Lions, Tigers, and Bears. There's Behind the scenes, there's where you can stay the night out here at what we call our White Oak Retreat. So you get to stay the night out here with us and the animals. And then there's just all kinds of different things. There's some wine, if you like wine, coffee, some dinners. You know, I'm sure there's something for everything. And then also we have what we call Raise the Paddle, where you can just donate to the cause, which helps us to help the animals. It sounds like amazing auction items, and it's going on now through Sunday. So everyone at home, you can log on and check out the long list of items that you have available. Um, and, you know, Bobby, I know you mentioned it, but again, tell me how many animals are there and what types. I mean, I know there's so many, but if you can just... All right, so we have 60 animals. Sorry to mean to interrupt you. 60 animals, 17 different species, and everything from Bakari, the African lion, to white lion, to white tiger, to tiger leopard, uh, both black and colored, uh, bobcat, serval. And, you know, we do rescue other animals too, not just lions, tigers, and bears. So macaw, mini horse, donkey, llama, goat, horses. Then we have grizzly bears, Himalayan black bears, grizzly bears. I'm sure I missed something in there. So it's a lot of fun if you want to come out and uh, learn about the exotic animal trade. But most people don't know it's second to drugs and weapons in our country. And these animals desperately need our voice and our help. And there's so many ways that you can help if you want to get involved or just come out to the country and enjoy the animals with us. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you're okay in all that heat, Bobby. I know it's going to be hot out there today. You know, they're saying it's so hot, but yesterday and the day before was really comfortable. Good. So we'll see today. <laughs> Glad to hear it's that. It's been hot out here this year, but 
Yeah, it's been nice. All right, glad to hear it. Bobby, thank you very much. And we hope our, uh, we can help you out as much as possible. It's such great work you're doing. These animals certainly need you, and I'm sure they thank appreciate you so much. it as well. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Lions, tigers, and bears. All right, Eric, we'll send it over to you.